Corporations are increasingly concerned with controlling their documents and intellectual property. Many companies need to allow users to view and even comment on sensitive information, but they don't want that information to be printed, downloaded, or otherwise taken outside of the enterprise content management system. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how Brava makes it easy to control the viewing, printing, and downloading of documents within OpenText Content Server. I'll also show you how to allow users to view and comment on documents without allowing them to take that sensitive information away with them. First, let's look at the permissions that are available when the Brava module is installed. Notice the download and print permission that we've added to the permission set in Content Server. When this permission is left unchecked and the user belongs to a Brava group, then the users will not be able to access the file, which means that the zip and download function in Content Server will not provide access to that specific file. To show this, I'll log into the system as a user with restricted permissions on this file and try to download it. Notice the next screen does not show any items in the list that can be downloaded. No files are eligible for this operation. Let me also point out that this file cannot be opened by the native application and can only be opened in Brava. See how the open command is gone from the functions menu? This prevents the file from being printed from the native application. In this example, you can still open the file in Brava. So what about printing from Brava? You can set the permissions to disable printing or only allow printing through Brava. Let's log back in as the administrator and look at the permissions page again and now focus on the Brava specific permissions at the bottom. Notice the print in Brava permission. When checked, users that are part of a Brava group will only be able to print from Brava. So what is the advantage of restricting printing to Brava? Well, Brava allows administrators to add a watermark or print banners to printouts. These items can be applied at the document or folder level, or they can be applied system-wide, that is, applied to everything, from the Brava administration screen. Here we can see how a watermark would be set on all items in this specific folder. In this case, we're going to set the watermark to printed on today's date by the current user. You can add date and time information, the current user, the IP address, or machine name of the computer requesting the print, as well as metadata, categories, and attributes from Content Server. Let's open a document in this folder and look at the watermark we just made. Remember, we checked the Print in Brava box on the permission screen for this file, so the print icon is available. Print Preview shows you what that will look like on hard copies when printed. As mentioned earlier, you can also disable printing in Brava, which removes the print icon altogether. And again, this can be applied at the system, folder, or document level. I'll uncheck the Print in Brava box and apply the changes. Let's see what this change looks like for the user. I'll log back in as a user with restricted permissions and open the file in Brava. Notice the print icon is no longer available to this user. Also, when printing is disabled, Brava prevents screen captures through the Windows Print Screen command. Notice what happens when I press Print Screen. Brava senses that the screen is trying to be captured and blocks it. Brava allows users to view and annotate virtually any file from within OpenText Content Server while still controlling file printing and downloading, thus protecting your company's intellectual property.